Aloha Dagwood Streets here filming exclusively on the Osmo Pocket 3 for this video. Everything you see filmed on the Osmo Pocket 3. If you don't know me, I have two channels. One covers motorcycle scooters, uh, music. Since I do those things, I film those things. So occasionally you'll see camera, particularly audio type related things. And I'm filming, like I said, on the Osmo Pocket 3 right now. And I'm using the DJI Mic 2 that comes with the Creator Combo. You can't see it, it's slightly out of frame, but it's right there. I have a second channel that's dedicated just to Thailand, and that's called Dagwoods Thailand. If you're interested in Thailand, go to that channel and check it out. I just opened this box, Creator Combo. I own the Osmo Pocket 1, and I enjoyed it. Cool story about that. I was on an airplane coming from Ethiopia to Washington, D.C., and I sat next to a guy whose father was the last of the Tuskegee Airmen. I think he was like 102 years old or something, and he was messing with the Osmo Pocket 1, little gimbal, and I'd never seen or heard of anything like that, and he was a professional, so he had been given the camera like a couple weeks before it came out. So we landed, I went home, and it was like a week wait to get it, and I got the Osmo Pocket One. Wow, I loved it, I still loved it. So much that I got the Osmo Pocket Two. I thought I lost the Osmo Pocket One, but it was <laughs> in my couch. So I bought the Osmo Pocket Two. I thought, hey, great excuse, right, to get the Osmo Pocket Two. I didn't really like it. Uh, it Various reasons we don't need to go into. It's You're not going to buy the Osmo Pocket 2, probably right, if you're watching this video. There were things about it I did like. And I made some videos using the Osmo Pocket 2. You can, you can view those on this channel. But um, it had a shake to it, and it overheated quickly. And there was just a lot of things I didn't care for it. I loved the microphone. So Osmo Pocket 3, I was still skeptical, and I waited a while I guess it's been out eight months now, and I bought it. I'm filming this at uh, 4K30, D-Log M, which I'll just slap a LUT on it from the DJI website. You can download a LUT. I use DaVinci Resolve. You then have to load it into DaVinci Resolve, and you just, I put it on an adjustment clip and then drag the adjustment clip over the video. That's all I do. I may darken it up a little bit because it seems to me the Osmo Pocket 3 overexposes a little bit. Maybe it's just me, but it seems like it does. But I tend to uh, like my videos a little bit darker, so maybe, maybe it is just me. I am also using automatic white balance. I'm in pro mode, which allows you to go into customize a little bit. And I just put minus one on the sharpness, minus two on the noise reduction because that's what all the YouTube guys say to do if you want it a little softer. And I do like it a little softer, a little more film-like, not as digital, not as crisp. And of course, <laughs> I don't have the glamour turned on. I'm not uh, a teenage girl obviously trying to sell cosmetics or uh, get TikTok views. In fact, I don't go out there and build a brand and really try to get subscribers and viewers and stuff. If you like it, subscribe. If you don't, I don't care. I don't make any money. It's, it's, I, don't, I shouldn't say I don't care. I do care because it feels good. When you get a like, thumbs up, a comment, that really is my only reward for making any of these videos. Lighting. Uh, I am using lighting right now because this is a talking head video. And as far as the white balance, I'm not like, especially right now, walking in and out of sunshine to where the white balance is gonna keep changing and just look ridiculous. It's fixed lighting. In preparation for this video, there was no preparation. I woke up in the morning, I'm gonna do a vlog. I'm not a vlogger, but that's what this camera is mainly intended for. I don't really intend to use it that way. I didn't wanna be a vlogger. But here I am, I have the Osmo Pocket 3, 
and I want to check out a vlog. So I just woke up in the morning, went through my daily routine. That's why I put yawn in the, <laughs> in the thumbnail. That's like reverse clickbait, right? The guy making the video is yawning and basically telling it it's boring. But if you want to see the Osmo Pocket 3 right out of the box, change a couple settings, what it looks like. I know you don't care about my boring life, but hey, watch this video. All right, kids, let's step through my morning routine. First thing I do is I come into the bathroom and get a washcloth hot and rub my eyes and face. Get the water hot, put it on the eyes to moisten up your eyes and breathe in through your nose to moisten up your nostrils. Next, I brush my teeth and then I step into my meditation room. My meditation room is actually just a closet. And I meditate on the medicine ball. First I lay on my back to open it up. Then I close the door, turn the lights off, and meditate. Nothing really exciting to see here. My meditation looks something like this. The type of meditation I do is called Vipassana. You sit as if your head has a string attached to it, being pulled from the sky. Try to relax. Try to force every thought out of your head slowly. Vipassana, for me, is like your body is a boat floating on the surface of the ocean or a lake with an anchor at the bottom. And your thoughts, you drift away every once in a while, but there's a chain between the anchor and you, and, it, and you float back. So if you have a thought, you start floating away, but the natural current will bring you back to where you're hovering over the anchor. And I just try to put every thought out of my mind. I start actually with a positive thought. Be happy today, be nice to everybody around me. Think about my words before I say them and how it will impact other people. And then I start forcing every thought out of my mind. If I feel a little pain, I, I feel it. If I feel a twitch in my knee, I experience it. I don't drive it away. Because you are anchored to the bottom. And even though you drift away once in a while, you do eventually come back. Don't listen to music in the morning. Don't have any thoughts of music because if a tune gets stuck in your head, it just ruins everything. That's why I like to do it when I first wake up. I know traditionally monks sit flat on the floor with their knees outward, but this is more comfortable. And if it helps me get to the state I'm trying to achieve, then it's good. That's Vipassana in a nutshell. Bink. The next thing I do is come into the kitchen, open the windows,
Get the hot water boiling. The way I make tea is I have Moringa, collagen, turmeric, and I put some fresh ground black pepper to activate the turmeric, and two types of mushroom, chaga and reishi powder, pre-mixed into a jar. And I take two cups, one for me, one for my spousal unit, and merely mix the powder into the cup. Today we're visiting uh, Mahong Sun. Huh, interesting. And I just take one level teaspoon this size and drop it in each cup. Put the water in, stir it, done. Chopstick. Then I deliver one to the wife. Well, check it out. She's out of bed. And the bed's made. Nice. I got your tea for you. I then go back, get my own tea. Carry it to the living room. Hot liquid in the morning just opens everything up and gets you ready for the day. The next thing I have to do, because I'm old, is stretch. Keep the yoga mat in the living room. Stretch it out. After stretching out the yoga mat, I stretch out myself. <laughs> A couple basic moves uh, for the lower back. One is just up like this. Knees still on the ground. I can also lift my knees off the ground. Just a couple of my basic moves. Another one is, I then go down to my elbow, my elbows, and I just relax like this for a while. And then I do some planking. What is planking? It's kind of like push-up position, except I'm resting from my elbow to my wrist. And I just hold it like this for a while and it kind of tightens up your stomach. It's good for blood pressure. I'll then do a couple other stretches. I'll do a little bit longer. I don't want to bore you <laughs> with this video. I just do a couple leg stretches and stuff like that. When I lean, when I work something one way, I try to work the opposite. If you lift like this, it's good to then push down. If you go up like that, it's good to then do pull-ups. Just counter uh, whatever you already did. I skipped one thing that I always do first before this. Maybe I was caught up in the moment of making a video, uh, but I, I sweep. I, sweep the carpet every single day. Sometimes at night, if I'm watching a basketball game or something, I'm eating popcorn or some kind of snack. And then I just get on with my daily routine, finish my 
cup of tea, catch up on the news, uh, do a little work on the swimming pool, whatever else I have to do for that day, whether it's bills to pay, paperwork. Sometimes I have to uh, go fix something at a rental property. That's the morning routine. Aloha. Satu.